since the tariff. We've seen the prices uh, go lower on U.S. pecans and at the same time input costs because of inflation have gone up so it's made it very difficult for the U.S. pecan farms to be profitable. That's killing us on the production side because the price of fuel and labor is, is making it not profitable you know, for the farmer to stay in business. Um, about 33% of our growers in the state of Georgia got um, affected by Helene. Um, about 48,000 acres were affected. One major aspect of that um, and the devastation to that is it takes a pecan tree about eight to ten years to start producing. Most recent years, the uh, tonnage that we've shipped to China has been significantly reduced. Uh, as a result of that, uh, the United States has built up a surplus of pecans and we would like to do anything we could do uh, in any way we could to increase our exports of pecans back to China. China has always been a really good friend to the U.S. pecan producers and uh, we would really like to open those channels up back to China. I'm hoping they get all that resolved and get it back to where we can free trade and get get uh, to where the tariffs is not, not a, a factor in it because it it really hurts the pecan industry. When we were able to have China in the market, it really helped the market a lot, helped the farmers expand their farms, plant more, and now uh, without the heavy trade to China, it's, it's, it's been very challenging on the farm. We would like to uh, see relationships with China go back uh, to a uh, level where we can uh, trade easily U.S. agricultural products to China because they have a big consumer base.